Doug Kide here with Zach Cox at Gillette Stadium, and it was a pretty wild Labor Day weekend here for the Patriots. Many roster cuts, three trades. What was your biggest surprise of the weekend? Well, my best, biggest surprise had to be the Jacoby Brissett trade, and I guess we shouldn't be so surprised because we were saying just last week that he was a guy who might end up being cut from this team, might not make the 53-man roster, but after he had that really good game here against the Giants in the last preseason game, we, I think we all kind of thought that he was safe, and then out of nowhere, traded to the Indianapolis Colts for <laughs> Philip Dorsett. Talented guy, kind of an underperforming guy so far, uh, Dorsett is, but yeah, Brissett, it's... It's tough to, to read what exactly the, the Patriots' mindset was behind this because now they, they do only have two quarterbacks on their roster, which isn't rare, but it is a little bit dicey when, when Tom Brady's 40 years old, Jimmy Garoppolo's supposed to be a free agent. So it's a lot of layers to this trade, and I'm pretty surprised that it went down like it did. Yeah, especially you know with the Colts. If we had been talking about a trade with the Colts two years ago, yeah. I think everyone would have said that we were insane. But uh, you know the GM changed, the regime change has changed things a little bit there between a lot of the two teams. Between the uh, Pats and the Colts nowadays. Really is Kenny Moore, a guy who was claimed by the Colts. We'll get into that a little bit later. But yeah, I was pretty surprised by that as well. Uh, I've, Honestly, probably a pretty good move for both teams. Yeah. Patriots get a pretty good wide receiver or a promising wide receiver in Philip Dorsett. And the Colts might not have to start Scott Tolzien beyond week one. It looks like Andrew Luck could use a few more weeks to get healthy here. And maybe Brissett will be their starter in weeks two, three, maybe four uh, once he comes back. How crazy is it that he could go from in a matter of weeks from being the number three in <laughs> New England to a starting quarterback in Indianapolis? It's a it's a wild swing for that guy. It really is. And I mean, good for him. He had yeah. what, did, what did the Colts? say a historically good <laughs> preseason ar game arguably the greatest preseason performance of all time by a quarterback which is I, that's something that's something there's there doesn't <laughs> seem to be a lot of self-awareness within the indianapolis colts <laughs> organization that's a wild claim uh i think that my biggest surprise beyond the Brissett trade i guess it kind of includes that as well is just how many trades the patriots made because we thought the Patriots had a pretty stacked roster. It seems like other teams thought the Patriots had a pretty stacked roster. Four players were claimed off waivers by the Patriots by other teams. Uh, tight end James O'Shaughnessy was claimed by six teams. Yet, the Patriots felt the need to trade for Johnson Batamosi and Cassius Marsh. I think we all kind of knew that there was a need there at defensive end, but I don't think anyone was expecting the Patriots to trade for a, a cornerback slash special teamer, given the depth that they had there at their defensive backs uh, on their 90-man roster. Yeah, they're really uh, they're loading up on special teams. Teams yeah. right now, which uh, the Patriots were a very good special teams last year, mm -hmm. special teams team last year. Yeah. They have had some injuries. A lot of those core special teamers have been banged up at times between Matthew Slater, Nate Ebner, Brandon King. Now we learned today that uh, Shane McClellan is going to start the season on injured reserve. Yeah. So all of these guys that they've gotten in, um, I mean, Philip Dorsett probably actually not going to have much of an impact right. on special teams, even though he does has, does have some return experience. But Marquise Flowers, who they got last week, mm -hmm. Batamosi, Cassius Marsh, all real uh, core special teamers from where they were before. So mm -hmm. with Tyree Kill coming in here in just a couple days, they're, they're obviously uh, bolstering up that unit. Definitely. It will be interesting to see what Cassius Marsh's main role on defense will be this season. He's a little bit undersized at 245 pounds, but he does have a lot of experience as a defensive end, which is where the Patriots need him the most. So lots of questions unanswered before week one. Uh, Patriots take on the Chiefs here on Thursday night. It's coming up fast. It really is. It doesn't <laughs> feel like week one. It feels like we still got a, maybe a week and a half until the yeah. game. But no, Thursday night. It's Monday right now. This game's on Thursday. So within a couple days, this place is going to be full and there's going to be real football played. And somewhere over here, we see the banners and that fifth one will be unveiled so if you're coming to the game get to your seats early right at 8 p.m to see that banner unfurled Un un unfurled unfurled, <laughs> unfurled. we'll go with unfurled. Right. that'll do it for us here at Gillette Stadium <laughs>